Hello and welcome to this graphic design video tutorial brought to you by Second Stroke Design. In this tutorial I'll be using Adobe Illustrator CS4's Revolve function to create a nice Easter egg style graphic. We'll be creating the Easter egg itself with a uh, sort of label on the edge and also two chocolate halves. And you can reposition these to create whatever effect you want and I'll also be showing you how you can easily change the wrapper if you wish to change the colours or change the shapes on the wrapper. So, without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to go to File, click New, and I'm going to just a letter document print template, and go to OK. So first we need to create an ellipse. To do this, hold down your rectangle tool button and click the ellipse tool, that's L on your keyboard. Hold Shift and drag out a perfect circle. Just so you can see this, I'm going to switch the stroke and fill colours, so it's got a black fill and I'm just going to change this stroke to none. So, this would create a sphere, and we don't want to create a sphere, we want to create a uh, an egg. So to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the direct selection tool, which is the white arrow in the toolbar there, and drag a selection box around this top anchor point here. Then I'm just going to click hold and drag this up. I'm going to hold shift to make sure that it goes up in a straight line. As you can see, we have our basic egg shape. I'm just going to change this to that's an OK colour. If we were to apply the 3D effect now by going to 3D Revolve, as you can see, it wouldn't actually achieve the effect we want. It would achieve something completely different. So to achieve the effect we want, we need to split this egg path into two halves. To do that is very simple. I'm going to go to the Line Segment tool which is here, which is the slash key on your keyboard and make sure smart guides is uh, checked because what smart guides do is our guides that are smart basically when you go to the centre of your uh, path it will lock to the centre if you go to the left or the top or the bottom or whatever it will lock to those specific positions so I'm going to lock to the centre and then hold shift and drag a line down the centre of my egg and as you can see, if I make the stroke green, we just have a line going down the centre of this egg. So to split it into two halves, what we do is we select both of these um, paths, open up the Pathfinder panel by going to Window, Pathfinder, and clicking this function which is called Divide. What this will do is it will separate the um, egg path into two shapes along the line that we created. So um, it will um, default to adding them as a group. So to enter this group, you can either go to Object on Group or just double click. Now I'm entered into the group. I can select the one on the left hand side and click the Delete key. As you can see, it leaves me with one half of this egg. Now we can actually apply the Revolve effect to this shape by going to 3D Effect Revolve, Effect 3D Revolve. Sorry, clicking on the preview button and as you can see we have a simple 3D egg shape which can manipulate within 3D space. Now make sure firstly that your offset is at zero points and it's from the left edge angle is 360 degrees and then you can change the 3D uh, view on this to what you want. Now make sure um, you click more options and this will display the lighting options change the surface to mat, uh, to diffuse shading which will create a matte sort of surface then you can play with the light intensity and the ambient light to whatever you wish click OK now we have our basic egg shape, I'm just going to change that to white OK so now we're going to create the graphic that will wrap around this egg shape and that's very simple what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the rectangle tool just draw a simple rectangle and let's say we're going to make it pink. Whatever colour you want, really. Then I'm going to uh, drag out some simple shapes. I'm going to use the star tool. Hold shift to make it um, angled correctly. And then change this to a lighter pink, as you can see. I'm going to utilise the transform again function, and that's very simple to do. If I hold alt, I can drag a copy of this shape. If I hold Alt and Shift, I can drag a copy of this shape um, along a specific direction, like that. 
If I now hold control and press D multiple times, it will pe repeat that um, transform that I made. So just click it to, let's say, 7. Now as you can see, it's gone over the page, so I'm just going to select all of these stars and just drag it to the middle, like so. I'm going to drag a, another copy of this star underneath. Just make it a bit smaller. Now I'm deliberately making it so it's not directly in the middle because we'll fix that later. Hold Alt and Shift again and drag some copies of these stars. Now to get them um, uh, spaced out correctly, what we do is we select the stars. And up here you'll see the Align and Distribution functions. Make sure Align to Selection is checked and click this one here, which says uh, Distribute Vertical. As you can see, they're equally spaced out. Now I'm going to create uh, some simple rectangles. Obviously, this graphic can be whatever you like. It can be a photo, for example, or a cartoon, or whatever you want, really. I'm just creating something simple for this tutorial. So I've created this graphic, and I'm going to select all of this graphic, open up my uh, symbols panel by going to Window, Symbols, and simply dragging it in. What that will do is it will convert it to a symbol. Now, a symbol... Um, you may be familiar to them if you if you do flash. Um, symbols are basically references of graphics, so it makes um, copying the graphics um, easier and it doesn't slow down your computer as much because they're mere references as opposed to copies of the symbol. And make sure type is graphic. Pr um, put the name as Easter Egg Wrapper. Doesn't really matter what name it is. You can change it at a later date. So now this is a symbol, I can delete this graphic and it will still be in the symbols panel. Now I want to edit this 3D revolve egg. And to do that, I don't go to effect 3D revolve because what that will do is it will apply the effect on top. What we need to do is go to the appearance panel. Now that's under window appearance. And just click this little link that says 3D revolve. Click preview and we'll click this button here called map art. Now we can map various graphics to um, 3D objects and it will say surface here. Now let's say we're doing a cube. This um, surface will say one of six because there's six faces of a cube and you can map various different shapes to those different faces. Of course because this is a um, complete um, sphere or egg shape it only has one surface. It displays the surfaces in this manner. What it will do is it will show the um, the area in which we can s currently view the um, object is in white and the part of the egg we can't see is in black and under symbol here I'm going to click the drop down menu and press Easter Egg Wrapper as you can see this has applied the wrapper to wrap around the egg and I'm just going to make it like that you can click scale to fit and what that will do is it will cover the entire egg but you, you can um, sort of make up your own labels or whatever and uh, play around with the positioning and whatever now I'm going to click shade artwork and what that will do is it will apply the lighting settings that we have here to the artwork itself and that will make the egg seem a bit more realistic click OK and there we go and we have our egg now the beauty of using symbols is, if I were to go into the symbols panel and say, nah, I don't really like pink for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click edit symbol, change the colours of this graphic to something different, say uh, an orange and a lighter orange. So now as you can see in the symbols panel this has changed. Now we need to update the egg because it hasn't accepted the change yet. To do that just open your 3D Revolve effect and then click OK. As you can see the new wrapper is now onto the egg. If I were to go into my symbols panel and duplicate this symbol by just grabbing it and going to this page icon, now we have two uh, symbols. I'm going to drag out the second one, click edit symbol, change this to blue 
and let's see, select the stars and make them lighter blue. And then we can copy this egg by holding Alt, dragging out a copy, edit its uh, 3D effect, click Map Art, then change this from Easter Egg Wrapper to Easter Egg Wrapper 2. And change the positioning to whatever you wish. Click OK. As you can see, we have now two eggs with different graphics on it. Like I said earlier, these can be anything. These can be photos, these can be cartoons. Um, I'm actually going to supply, which I'll talk about at the end of the video, some of these which you can use if you don't want to make some yourself. Now, let's make the chocolate uh, shapes. To do that, I'm going to just um, drag out a copy of this egg and then turn the other two eggs off in my layers panel. I'm going to remove the 3D revolve effect in the appearance panel. Now we have the half of this egg, which I'm just going to change the brown for the chocolate colour. Now again, if we were to put the 3D revolve effect on here, what we'd get is a uh, is just like we had earlier, a full egg. What we want is a semi-hollow egg. And to do that, I'm going to uh, go to Object, uh, no, Edit, sorry, Copy, Edit, Paste in front, and then use this um, Transform Anchor Point here, hold Shift, and make a smaller version of this egg. So as you can see, we have two objects now. I'm going to select both, go to my Pathfinder panel, and click this one which is subtract and that will subtract the pink shape from the brown shape now if we apply the 3D effect oops just click extrude and bevel accidentally there 3D revolve it may look like a uh, full egg but inside there is a gap to show that gap I'm going to change the angle from 360 to 180 as you can see now we have a chocolate egg shape. I'm going to change the uh, surface to diffuse shading again, and you can change uh, the ambient light to whatever you want, really, whatever effect you wish to um, achieve. I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to Control C, Control F this um, object to create a copy, change the 3D revolve effect settings, and I'm just going to bring this up like that. Click OK, make it smaller, and just place it there. Then turn on my other egg. I'm going to go to Object, Arrange, Bring to Front. And there we have it. We have the um, egg with the wrapper on it and the two chocolate halves. hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you've uh, learned how to use some basic functions like the 3D Revolve function in Illustrator and if you go to the Second Stroke Design website which is secondstroke.co.uk, scroll down click the download section, when you go to the download section click they will say tutorial number um, tutorial number one Easter Egg, this is going to be changed of course click that and you will download a zip file with a preview of what you will be creating in the tutorial and I'll create a starter file. The starter file will be a print document in Illustrator which will have preloaded wrappers such as this one um, for you to play around with if you don't want to make your own. If you want to request a tutorial just uh, send me an email to william at secondstroke.co.uk um, comment, like, share this video, subscribe if you found it useful and I should be posting more tutorials in the future. Thank you for watching.